Hi, I'm Chief Jerry, and I want to talk to you today about a hot water generator, and I want to show you a few components of it. In the cabinet, we have a McQuay geothermal heat pump. It's a single stage unit, and this pipe right here is our water in from our hot water tank. And this pipe right here is the water that returns. This red, reddish um, colored thing is the circulating pump for the hot water generator. This black pipe right here, it's kind of hard to see, it goes down across the bottom of the cabinet and then goes up back here, comes back across the top. That is the desuperheater. And the water flows in from the hot water tank around the desuperheater, actually through the desuperheater, and then comes back out, and then the circulating pump pushes it back to the hot water tank. This shiny copper line right here, that's the hot gas line from the compressor and it connects right up to the desuperheater. So when the compressor is running, it forces the hot gas through the desuperheater and it circulates around and then there's another pipe on the bottom here. It's kind of hard to see but I'm trying to point to it there. And the hot gas then comes back and goes into the reversing valve. With the water circulating through the desuperheater, when the hot gas is going through it also, um, picks up heat from the hot gas and then pushes it back out this way and then back into the hot water tank via this circulating pump. Um, many units have a thermizer or a temperature sensor that will sense the temperature of the incoming water from the tank and when it reaches 125 degrees it will turn the circulating pump off so it doesn't heat it further. Um, this particular unit does not have that, it's not equipped with it. Um, and another sensor they install on the hot gas line and they do this so that the pump will turn on it, it keeps the pump from circulating pump from starting until the hot gas from the compressor is hot enough to heat water. Otherwise, it'll take heat out of the hot water tank and put it into the hot gas line, and that we do not want. And that's basically how they work. They're usually just a loop that goes through the unit as this one and that's it.